Well, good morning. Yay for me. I leave tomorrow to go see my daughter and granddaughter that live up near Chicago, and I am so excited. I have a few more items to put in my suitcase, but for the most part, I am done. And today, I'm gonna show you the pile of stuff I have going up to them. Now, a few things to keep in mind. My oldest granddaughter has outgrown some toys that my youngest granddaughter um, cannot play with, so they're big items and those are going up. My daughter requested a deep freezer um, for Christmas, and since we won't be there for Christmas, I got her a deep freeze. There's so much stuff that is going up, and I'm gonna show it all to you, and then I'm gonna explain to you the process I did to get ready for such a big move like this. Well, we're not moving, but a big trip where we're taking a lot of stuff to someone. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, this bag right here, this just has some extra food and snacks. This is a craft um, center where you will put like crayons and colored pencils and blah, blah, blah. Now, back January, February timeframe, when I was in Wyoming, my friend made me this. He made me two of them. I had found the pictures and I said, oh, my granddaughters would love these. Can you make these? He seriously made this in about five minutes and he made me two of them. So, you know, this trip has been planned for quite a while. And here is all the paper that, um, there's a manifesting video on that. And I'll link the manifesting video in the descriptions. Another random box of um, puzzles and tablecloths. Now, the tablecloth was mentioned on my Swedish death cleaning video. So I will link that one in the descriptions as well. The big purple crate is full of Cabbage Patch dolls. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link that one as well. And then this is a little girl's play vanity. And this was up in my attic. So this has to go. A random box of um, miscellaneous stuff that I just keep finding. This is a deep freeze. Sorry, the lighting's not that great. It's still dark here. And then this is just a huge lawn and leaf bag full of gifts that as I was wrapping and packing, I needed some place to put them. My daughter was in need of a mattress pad cover. Someone gave me that. I've got a baby bed down here, like for baby dolls. I know the lighting's really bad. So that's gotta go. And that green thing right there is a sled. Now why somebody would give me a sled is beyond me. I'm not really a let's go out and play in the snow, go sledding type of person. That's not my thing. So, there's really a lot in here, um, and a lot of work did go into this and a lot of preparation. And what I did was I just broke everything down. I did not do a spreadsheet. I didn't get on the computer and make all these fancy programs. All I did was I took a piece of paper, and I wrote my daughter's name on it. And I said, okay, we knew this was coming up. This is, um, you know, we try to go up every year for our granddaughter's birthday. And so we started, like I said, way back January, February, March timeframe with those wooden things. Now I knew my friend was really good at woodworking. And so I asked him, I said, can you do this? And he said, oh yeah, I can do that. And then I had him make me some candle holders. He's like, oh, this is so easy. Yeah, I can do all this. So. I took the piece of paper and I just divided it. Completed, uncompleted. And I wrote in the completed section, okay, I've got this craft center. Um, that's done, got the candles, that's done. And then over here on the uncompleted, I would write stock craft center. 
And every time I went to the dollar store, I would buy like some crayons or some, you know, colored pencils. I, I did it all gradually. Actually, I didn't get them at the dollar store. I hit the wall crap um, after school had started. Now the Cabbage Patch dolls, that sounds like a process. And it really was, it took me about three days. But it wasn't getting the dolls together because all I did was I went upstairs to the attic and I gathered up all the baby dolls, went back downstairs, threw them on the bed, went back upstairs and I rifled through everything and found all the clothing, all the shoes, you know, everything like that. I took those that were able to go into the water, into the washer, threw them in the washer, undressed all the baby dolls, threw all that clothing in the washer, boom, done. I had my um, son wash a crate for me. I picked out the crate. I said, I need this washed, dried, it needs to be spotless. Had him washing the crate. And then the dolls that didn't need their hair done, I put them in the crate, and then I started the process of washing all the dolls' hair. Now, if you don't know how to do that, Pinterest has a million different ways to do it. So that did take me a couple days because you have to set the dolls up to dry. And then I put all of them in there, boom, locked it, done. Okay, another thing done. The little girl's vanity and baby bed. Um, once again, my oldest daughter doesn't play with baby dolls anymore. So I, I did ask, I said, do you want this? And my daughter was like, yeah, June would love that. So I sent my son up to the attic to get it. And then I said, uh, take him outside and scrub him down with the hose, dry him off, put him in the garage. Boom, done. And then I would start on, okay, it's her birthday and Christmas. What does she like? And then I kind of just made a little list of, you know, things to keep my eye out for because I had plenty of time. So I was able to really look the freezer um, my daughter said, yeah, we could really use a deep freeze. So it's like, okay. So I actually went to an auction and found it. And I'm going to put the deep freeze in the back of the truck and then put that big black trash bag that's full of stuff down in the deep freeze to get it up there. And the reason I have a bunch of stuff in the big black trash bag, it's not because it's trash. I've got some friends that are totally against putting anything in a trash bag. But because I've been staging this stuff for a while now, I decided to put a bunch of it in the trash bag so I could tie it up, keep the dust, you know, the bugs, whatever, off of it. So that is why um, all that stuff's in a trash bag now, because it's trash, because it was the easiest way for me to do it. So if you're planning something big like this where you know in advance this is what you need to do. You don't need a fancy spreadsheet. You don't need a computer program. You don't need anything. Just start writing the stuff down. Okay, I need to get the baby dolls together. Okay, I need to get the vanity and the baby bed together. Oh, I saw this. I think Amber would like this, so I ordered it. Just take your time. Plan ahead is the big thing. Plan ahead. And then I just staged it all in the garage. And so it's all in one spot. Tomorrow morning, all we have to do is get up and load. It's already packed, it's already ready to go. And it's done, it's done. So tomorrow morning, all, we, all I have to do is consume my coffee and load the truck. The trip's gonna take us roughly 10 to 11 hours, um, mainly because of stops. Now, I don't know how y'all travel, but in my reality land, we only get to stop when we need gas. So if you gotta pee, you better figure out how to pee in a bottle or you better hold it. You wanna eat, you better hope the gas station has something good because we don't stop. We just go straight through, which it shouldn't be that bad St. Louis is usually the most congested point that we hit. So, okay guys, you got this. You can do a big haul like I'm doing to go up to see someone. 
all this stuff is being decluttered from my home and it is going on to somebody else that can use it and so I'm very thankful for that and I will link the Cabbage Patch doll video, the Swedish death cleaning video. I said there was one other one. I'll link that one too in the descriptions below in case you haven't seen them. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and the bell icon. The bell icon will notify you when I put um, a new video up. Otherwise, YouTube won't tell you. Bye guys.